Uh, my name is John, John O'Connor, and I drive the local train here, a tourist train around the village. I've been living here in Hoth since 1959, which is a long, long time. Just to give you a brief history of the village, the uh, harbour here was built originally as the main port between, Dublin, between Ireland and England. And the packet ships, or the mail boats, used to sail from here to Hollyhead. So all the communications, the letters and the post, going back over hundreds of years, would come out by stagecoach to Hope, and they would catch the packet ships here to Hollyhead. But unfortunately, after the harbour was built, within 20 years, the harbour started to silt up and the boats were too big to fit into the harbour anymore, so they had to move the whole packet ship and mail boat to Dunleary, which is on the other side of Dublin Bay. But the village itself has been reliant on fishing for hundreds of years. And the main catch used to be herring and mackerel. And you know, it's said that back in the 1890s, you could have over a thousand boats tied up in the harbour here. Most of them came from Scotland. They came over here chasing the herring and the mackerel. Shows of herring and mackerel. And you know, it's said that when the weather was bad on a rough day, you'd have a thousand boats tied up here in the harbour. And you could actually walk from the West Pier to the East Pier, across the boats, half a mile across the harbour. And you wouldn't get your feet wet. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And Hope is now really a tourist destination. In fact, it's the second busiest tourist destination in Ireland, outside of the Guinness Hop Store. And last year, they say that 1.3 million visitors came to Holt. And obviously, we have the seals here in the harbour, which is, we used to be able to feed the seals in the harbour here, but unfortunately, we're no longer allowed to do that because the environmentalists don't want us getting the animals reliant on human beings yes. because they are wild animals you know so they have to be able to find their own food there's not people around to feed them you know, 100 years ago a famous sailing ship called the Asgard sailed into Hope and it tied up down by the lighthouse there and they landed 800 rifles for the Irish volunteers and 800 men marched up the East Pier there, led by Michael Collins and Eamon de Valera, who later went on to become President of Ireland. And they marched up along the pier with the rifles on their shoulders, off to fight for Irish freedom. We have Hope Castle, which is on the way into the village. Other places of interest, we have two islands off the harbour out here, Ireland's Eye, beautiful island out there. There's a, actually, there's the ruins of a little church on it, St. Nesson's Church. Uh, St. Nesson lived out on the island in the 10th century with all of his monks and they were responsible for illustrating a famous manuscript called the Garland of Hope. It's very similar to the Book of Kells and you can see both of them on display in the library in Trinity College in Dublin. There are also several Martello towers around here. There, there's one uh, up, up, there's an actual uh, radio museum up in the, the one here uh, in Holt itself, and we're famous here in Holt for our cliff walks. I don't know if you've heard of those. So when they, the walks run from from the Harbour Road here in the village, right around the hill, past the lighthouse, all the way to Red Rock. And 